hot rodders are all, uh, well, I say style conscious maybe. And you look at different periods and, and certain periods the cars had one look and then a little bit later they came up with another look. And one of the big changes was the wheels. You know, prior to the war, most of them were running spoked wheels and most of them that could ran Kelsey spoked wheels. And the Kelsey's were a little different than Ford wheels and the spokes were slightly bent and they just had a nicer appearance. Uh, the, after the war, the popular wheel became the disc wheel, which was a solid wheel like came on 40 Fords and uh, later. So uh, that became the popular thing. And you'll notice most of the Roadsters by 48 had disc wheels on them. And of course, they were stronger than the Kelsey wheels too. I think it's fair to say that the Hot Rodders were a blue collar hobby. The majority of the guys were interested in mechanics and they were willing to get their hands dirty and work on the cars. And uh, so you'll find most of them were, were what you call blue collar workers. And that says nothing about how smart they were or anything like that. It just merely it was guys that enjoyed working on the cars. And uh, so that might be the definition. I knew a lot of guys that, uh, you know, went to school, went to college. I went to college and uh, uh, we weren't any smarter than the other guys. We were just different, you know. But uh, I think it had to be more just an interest in, in working with your hands and, and trying to accomplish something technically. I used to sit around trying to figure how I could make my car go faster. And, uh, uh, you know, you, you'd think of all the ideas you could think of to get more RPM or to uh, get a better gear ratio set up. And, and uh, and that's what it was about, you know, and 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 then going out and accomplishing that, and that was uh, uh, what was important was actually to make the improvement and and this type of thing. And, and the hot riders, you know, by and large, a lot of them were competitors. They were racers, you know. They they were out there trying to beat the other guy, you know, and improve what they did. And uh, so it's almost uh, unfair to even say a blue collar worker as such. It does work out that a lot of them were guys that work with their hands, you know, but it, it, uh, uh, not something that you should put down as, as putting them in a different class or something like that.